Well, let me uh, first of all thank all of you for being here tonight. This has been one of the greatest honors of my life to have the opportunity to run for the highest office in this great commonwealth of Kentucky, to run for governor of this great commonwealth for an old boy that was raised on the left-hand fork of Middle Fork in Elliott County to have that opportunity and to travel this great commonwealth of Kentucky and the biggest part of my adult life, I've been in public service. But I've never accomplished anything in my life without having good people around me. And I want to first of all thank my family. My family who has stuck with me through thick and thin, my family who were involved in this campaign. As you all well know, to be in the political arena today, it sometimes is not easy. But I must say that I have enjoyed this journey of running for governor. To my family, my children, to Leah, who has been a part of everything that we have done in this race and in others, my public service to her. You know, again, you're only as good as the folks you got around you. And somebody that's always been out front for me, been my wife, Leah, my children. My beautiful children who have known nothing else except for me being in public office, to be very honest with you. My daughter Kristen, my son Brandon, and my daughter Tori. I want to thank them for supporting me and for giving their time and sacrifice that it takes to serve in public office. I want to thank them. <clears throat> To my daughter-in-law, Emily, and to my son-in-law, Josh, who have my beautiful grandchildren that I'm going to get a chance to enjoy a whole lot more, to be very honest with you. It's beautiful grandchildren. We've got a new one back here that you can't hardly see. Step that new one out here. These other two fine-looking gentlemen standing over here are Abram and Jackson, and uh, I'm blessed to have a very good family. Now, you all hear me during my political speaking a lot talk about another fellow, and the other fellow I talk about is that guy that fit, spent 50 years in public education, 39 years in the classroom. A guy who has instilled in me who I am and what I am. And to my mother, God rest her soul. I know she's looking down tonight. I know she's here with us. To have a mother and father like I've had to really make me who I am and what I'm about and every good thing that I've ever been able to accomplish, they've been a big part of it. To my running mate, Stephanie Horn. I want to thank her for her dedication and her commitment. <laughs> to her family, to her family, her family that is committed to this race, who have worked in this race, who have been there shoulder to shoulder with us in this race, Stephanie, I'm honored to have had you as a teammate as we've traveled this journey across this Commonwealth of Kentucky. <laughs> Leah's family is up here on stage with us as well, and I want to thank my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, Leah's two brothers and sister who have been a big part of this campaign, a big part of our lives, of course. But let me tell you what, 
What I'm excited about is what we generated across this great commonwealth. The momentum. The momentum and energy that was created all across Kentucky. Who we inspired to be a part of this campaign. Some who had never been involved in a campaign in their life. That got involved in this campaign and worked every day to help us get elected. To the members of the House that stand here with me tonight, who came here tonight and have been a part of this campaign, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You all have allowed me to be your leader. And it's been a tremendous honor for me to serve in that House chamber to gain the knowledge and the experience and the proven leadership that it takes to lead, you all have placed that confidence in me. And tonight I say thank you to each one of you, to the members of the Senate that I see in this crowd tonight, who have been my friends and who have supported me. I would say thank you. To this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful professional staff, that we had that helped run this campaign, that worked every day before daylight to way after dark, to give it everything they had to help us be successful in this campaign. I want them to know how proud I am of them, their work ethic, how they approached every day to help us be competitive in this race. And for folks, we were competitive, and we were able to compete right up to the very end. And I'm proud of this staff that we had to help make that happen. <laughs> to every volunteer, to every volunteer across Kentucky who knocked on doors for us, who stuffed envelopes for us, who done everything they could possibly do to help us with this campaign, I say thank you for what you did for us. For every lifelong friend that I've had that's had fundraisers, that's had meet and greets, that's done everything in their power to help a guy by the name of Rocky Adkins, who I believe brought a message to this campaign that people across Kentucky wanted to hear. They wanted to hear, they wanted to hear about somebody who was willing to carry their voice across Kentucky. That moderate, that middle of the road Democrat. Who is willing to carry that message that it was important that we stand up for public education in this great commonwealth of Kentucky and we fight for the profession of teachers all across Kentucky? That it was important that somebody would stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this governor over the last three and a half years and fight back on his bad agenda that has been bad for Kentucky. And folks, that fight is worth fighting. Are you willing to carry that fight on in to November? I ask you tonight. It's been an honor for me to stand up for the working families of Kentucky. Those folks that grab a hard hat and a dinner bucket, a pair of steel-toed shoes every day. The fight for the middle class. The fight of how we build a strong economy, not from the top down, but from the bottom up and the middle out. I've carried that message across Kentucky. And I'm in this fight, and I got in this fight, and I'll stay in this fight for working families of this great commonwealth of Kentucky. Are you willing to fight that fight? I 
I've said many times that health care is personal to me. And I've said it's personal to me because I'm a 24-year cancer survivor. And for a waiver to take 100,000 people off the health care rolls is a cruel waiver, a cruel policy. And I believe that quality health care and affordable health care is worth fighting for. Are you willing to continue to fight that fight with me? Matter of fact, this Friday, we're going to continue to fight that fight with the 24th annual Rocky Adkins Cure for Cancer golf outing here in Moorhead, Kentucky. Where we've been able to raise over two and a half million dollars to help cancer patients and to help families who are struggling and fighting this terrible disease of cancer. I just mentioned that because we still got a few team openings on Friday and we'd like to have some of you to come. But folks, this very message that we've carried across Kentucky, the very message that people have stood up to and have listened to, I want you all to know that I don't regret one thing about this race. I don't regret one ounce of this race. If you ask me tonight, am I disappointed? Sure, I'm disappointed. You know, I've said all along that, you know, we were playing to win, that we were in it to win it. But, folks, I am excited about the opportunity I had to travel the journey of this great commonwealth of Kentucky and meet thousands of people who looked me in the eye and said, Rocky Adkins, I'm going to be for you. And I'm going to be for you because you are that common man that can bring common sense back to this great commonwealth of Kentucky. To the folks who have allowed me to serve in the Kentucky House for many years now, you know, I'm proud of my public service and I'm proud of those who I serve with. That privilege, that opportunity to represent people, to try to help people, to try to be a part of something to make Kentucky a better place. You know, uh, I'm going to still be in Frankfort, Kentucky. <laughs> and I'm going to continue to serve as the leader of this House Democratic Caucus and continue to work for people across Kentucky, people in my legislative district, to make it a better place. It's been a tremendous privilege to travel this journey, to hopefully be elected as the governor of this great commonwealth. But you know, we came up a little short tonight. But man, I tell you what, we battled, and we fought, and we took it to the trenches, and we gave it everything we had to try to win this race. To all of those of over 100,000 people that voted for Stephanie Horn and Rocky Adkins, I cannot say anything but thank you for believing in us. Thank you for having the confidence to walk in that ballot box and push our name. What an unbelievable humbling thing for something like that to happen, that somebody would have that kind of confidence in you to do that. So this journey has been an unbelievable experience. And I have enjoyed that experience, and I will remember it the rest of my life. And folks, I'm going to get up in the morning, and I'm going to be able to look in the mirror. And I'm going to say we left it all on the court. We gave it all we had. We gave it the best effort that we knew how to give to win this campaign. The only regret that I have is that we were not able to pull it off tonight. But you know what I'm proud about this campaign is that, yeah, we raised the money it took to go on TV and it raised the money to do all that stuff that we had to do. And of about that $1.7 million we raised, 50% of it came from $100 contributions and less. 
I think that shows you the grassroots support that we had in this campaign. And I would also tell you that we tried to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm proud of the strong organization that we had in all 120 counties of Kentucky, a strong organization that believed that you could still win a campaign the way I was taught by that granddaddy that I mentioned to you all the time, that E.J. Adkins, that we could still win this campaign on the ground and in the trenches. And that's where we ran this campaign. And I'm so proud of how we competed and how we were in this race and we fought it to the bitter end. I say thank you to all of you. Tonight, I want to congratulate Andy Bashir. I want to congratulate him on his victory. I want to congratulate him on the relationship that we've had over the many years. I want to congratulate him tonight on a race well run. I want to congratulate him because he was victorious tonight and he came out as the winner in this race for governor. And I want him to know that as the majority leader and the minority leader, I've traveled Kentucky and I've helped Democrats from one end of this state to the other. And this time I tried to help myself, but this race wasn't about Rocky Adkins. This race was about the people of Kentucky. It was about people all across Kentucky. So as the majority leader and the minority leader, the job that I had was to help my House Democratic Caucus and to help them hopefully be elected and to travel from one end of this state to the other. And I'd like for you all tonight to know that Rocky Adkins will continue to travel this state. As I congratulate Andy Bashir tonight, I would tell you this, that being an old athlete, that you learn how to win and you learn how to win with respect and dignity. But in defeat, you understand how to accept that and how you turn it into something positive. So I want Andy Bashir to know and his family to know that I'll be traveling Kentucky and I'll be trying my best to help Andy Bashir as we go through these next months over these next weeks. to help him win in November. Folks, I'm humbled and honored to stand here on this stage with our families tonight. I've had 32 years of unbelievable service in the Kentucky House of Representatives. And to be afforded this opportunity to run for the governor of this great commonwealth, and to be able to run the race that we ran, and I had a ball. I absolutely had a ball. I'm telling you, I had fun traveling Kentucky. It was a great honor. One of these days when I do retire, I'm not going to look in the mirror and regret that I didn't do this because this is something that I needed to do. This is something that many of you, if not all of you in this room, encouraged me to do. But tonight I got to thank the supporters in this room and the supporters watching on TV and across Kentucky that engaged in this campaign and voted for Stephanie Horn and Rocky Adkins. I'm proud of the race we ran. I'm proud of how we ran it. We paved the pathway for how we could build a better Kentucky. And I still believe in that agenda that we carried across this great commonwealth. So as we thank each of you tonight, 
Somebody said, are you tired, Rocky? I said, no, I'm not tired. I'm an old point guard. <laughs> point guards are not allowed to get tired. But here's what this old point guard is going to do. The mentality of that point guard is to make everybody else better, including these folks here. I'm going to continue to work hard to improve our communities. But in closing tonight, we cannot thank you enough for your sacrifice, for your commitment to this campaign. For everybody that gave a dollar, for everybody that contributed, for everybody that knocked on the door, for everybody that made a phone call, for everybody that talked to your friend or your neighbor, you don't know how proud we are of you for your commitment to our campaign and our message that we carried across this great Commonwealth of Kentucky. Folks, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And as we leave here disappointed tonight, let's think together how we can unite each other together rather than divide and conquer. There's been enough division. It's time to unite people. It's time to work together. It's time to build that better Kentucky. And folks, let me tell you something tonight. It's time to bring dignity and respect back to the governor's office. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for this journey. Thank you for your hard work on our behalf. All of you that dug in in some shape, form, or fashion, I'm just going to say it again. We're very humbled and we're very honored. We're humbled and honored for all of those folks that voted for us today. And we're humbled and honored for all of these folks that I see in this crowd that laid it all on the court and fought hard for Rocky Adkins and Stephanie Horn. Thank you all so much, and we look forward to seeing you and building a better Kentucky for the future. Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you for your confidence and your support.